Hello everyone, I'm Bradley Sword and this is my Day 14 Part 2 Solution to Advent of Code 2024. The problem is called Restroom Redoubt. I'm solving the problem as always here in Python. And so Part 1 was interesting. Well, Part 1 wasn't actually too challenging all in all, right? You're trying to figure out, move, move these robots around in space and just figure out when you're said and done after 100 seconds, where are these things? in relation to the quadrants of the world they're in and multiply some numbers together. For part two, oh my goodness, there's gonna be a picture of a Christmas tree, you know, if the characters move around, if these robots move around in space frame by frame or second by second by second. And you're like, well, you don't know what you're looking for. It just says a picture of a Christmas tree. You don't know what you're looking for exactly. You don't know how big it's gonna be, where it's gonna be, anything about it but you're supposed to figure this out in some some reasonable amount of time. And I get 7584, it takes that long, so what is that, a couple hours for them to get themselves into a position where they, it looks like a Christmas tree. And like, well, how did I find that answer? So I actually borrowed my code from part 12 and manipulated this in a slight way here. And so my thought process is what was here. Well, I get all, I, I, I got to process the file like before. I got to figure out the width and height and before. And I'm going to, in this time around, I'm generating frame by frame by frame here, or second by second. I'm moving the robots and then I'm checking around to see for this specific frame, basically, is there any order to the data? Because all of our characters are basically randomly put into this world and they're moving around basically randomly. And so you're not going to find a lot of order to the data. It's going to probably look like if, like if it was one of those things you would visualize on a frame by frame basis, it would probably look like static, the old static, you know, television static that you guys maybe or maybe not know anything about. But I definitely grew up in that era with television static. And so the thought is if at any point there's some semblance of order to the data, then maybe we should just check it out. And I just throw the number into the computer here and throw the number in and say, will it work? So it takes a minute or two. I mean, because it's generating a ton of different, uh, you know, uh, different options here for second by second by second. But at the end of the day, it's going to get the answer of 7,600 or whatever. I didn't print it out. I don't really care. I mean, I want to see the, I'll see the picture. I'll take a look at it when I tomorrow morning or whatever. I just wanted to find the solution and just move on like everybody else here. But the thought process was if I find any order, basically at any point, if I do like a flood fill or kind of like, well, how big is a quote unquote garden, a garden of robots? If you want to think of it from part 12 again, you're like, if there are more than 15 robots in any specific garden area, well, then just print the number out and try it. And you'll see, I mean, and again, I'll, I'll run this. Um, again, I'm, you know, the, I do not have a clue how you would automate something like this other than this is the automation. Like, I mean, how would, now if I know the number of interest, which will be 7,600 something, how do, would I know, other than there's our 7,584, how would I know how to visualize it? I don't, you know, or how to automate that and go, yes, that is the answer. I don't have a clue. So if you know, I'm willing, I'm really willing to listen and hear what you have to say about that. But this was definitely an interesting problem as always here. They're getting more and more interesting as time goes on. Um, but that is my solution here. Let me bring the code back one more time for anybody who cares to look. Where is my code? There it is. But I basically, I stole my code from day 12 and made it work with day 14. So thanks for sticking it out with me as always. Uh, hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. See you then.